welcome guests. How many people have traveled alone? There are many. Uh, how about traveling alone to country outside of the U.S. where you have to speak a different language other than English? Very interesting. Not part of business, just for the sake of travel. Very, very impressive. You guys are more braver, brave, and uh, yeah, better than me. Actually, I did traveling alone recently, and that's uh, what I want to talk about today. I traveled some countries in Europe and uh, Asia. That uh, you know, especially Europe was the you know the destination I definitely wanted to go, and was planning to go for many, many years, but I couldn't do it for many other reasons, like you know, I just got out of school and I didn't have money, or I started working and I didn't have enough vacation time, and finally when I had money and vacation time, I didn't have a friend whose schedule you know, uh, comes along uh, with my schedule, and so I couldn't do it until recently. Uh, because of my Korean transition, recently I had an expected vacation time, so I decided to make my all-time dream happen, come true. And actually, I booked a flight uh, a couple days before I flew to London. And uh, my journey actually started in London, uh, and I went to France, Germany, uh, Korea, and Japan, and coming back to the US. So it was a little bit spontaneous, as you can see. I actually booked a flight coming back to the US on the day that I flew to London. But there is also some urgency about my trip. It, I don't know if it's the right term or the right description for my case, but you know, have you guys had an experience? Like, there's a, some sort of feeling, like if you don't do this right now, it's not gonna happen. It's like, that's how I felt. So I kind of forced myself and convinced that it's gonna work out and that I'm gonna just do it. As the uh, least prepared I was in terms of figuring out how I'm going to do like all the transportation and language barrier as well as like who I'm going to stay with and the book um, and the uh, hoteling and everything. Um, but uh, you know when you make a traveling plan at the last minute it's not likely that you're going to be well prepared and the last minute that's a communication with a friend in Paris uh, led, to, uh, led to this communication so I ended up uh, missing the opportunity to catch up with him Paris, and one time I got lost, and I also was waiting for my friend uh, in Frankfurt in the station, and without any way to come here with her because my phone died, and all the stores around the uh, station got closed, and that's the only way that I was hopefully able to charge my uh, cell phone. By the way, did you guys know that uh, uh, every country uh, in Europe, well, maybe the countries that I visited, have the a totally different uh, charge the adapter, so you gotta like get really well prepared. So I think that's one of the things that I can share. Like if you are planning to go to Europe, which was very frustrating. But as much as such a um, unlucky events uh, put me under a lot of stress, such uh, misadventures also led me an opportunity to meet with amazing people, um, like new people. Uh, mom and daughter that I met in Paris, they uh, uh, enormously helped me to find a way to get back to San Diego when I got lost. And uh, also I met uh, new friends uh, from, uh, from Australia and, uh, and Singapore. And I became uh, friends with them and I just you know, hang out with them a couple days in London, uh, wandering around the city and uh, walking all um, Bay, like from Soho to the museum and the London Bridge, and talking about life and relationship, like you know, deep conversation with a stranger that was really fun. And I bumped into a stranger uh, in Paris and you know just hang out with this guy for two hours, just walking around in, and along this river. That was an amazing uh, experience as well. But most importantly, this adventure to led me to like uh, produce some confidence. The confidence that I uh, didn't have, that like, you know, some sort of feeling that I can do this thing for myself. Like, for some reason, um, one of the reasons that I couldn't take this adventure earlier is because even though I came to the States for 
alone and they spend most of my life here. But surprisingly enough, I have a fear of going um, traveling myself. And that, that was, uh, yeah, isn't that weird? And uh, I, so, like, there was always some, like, obstacle, like, finding a few people and, you know, finding the schedule to accommodate everybody's schedule to go outside of the country. And, uh, but, uh, surprisingly enough, like, you know, that was my biggest fear. And, but this adventure actually uh, led me this confidence that I can actually do this. By the way, I'm not like a big um, fan of making the you know new resolutions around the new uh, year, uh, especially like seeing the people like coming up with the like new ideas and the plannings and like if they can do it and all the excitement. But that doesn't last that long. But after this bike adventure, I couldn't help but the you know, share this uh, small achievement that I had uh, because of the uh, the confidence that I like obtained during this uh, adventure. Um, everyone has their own fear they, they, they want to overcome. For me, that was in you know, traveling a lot. And uh, I just wanted to borrow uh, the something that Jim Carrey uh, chair in his uh, commencement speech to Maori State University. Uh, in his speech, he said, you know, fear is going to be your big player, or the big player in your life. But you get to decide how much. You can spend your whole life imagining goals, worrying about pathway to the future. But all there will be is what is happening here. And the decision we make in this moment, which is based on either love or fear. And I saw a lot of new faces last week, and uh, some face, new faces today. And uh, I'm guessing, you know, Toastmaster might be one of their new resolutions this year. And hopefully, uh, you, you know, I can see you continue coming. And I just want you to take this uh, you know, as an opportunity to encourage all of you in this room to uh, you know, come up with the, like, uh, what are the fears that you have, you want to overcome, and uh, do it this year so that uh, you can see how it's going to result in you know, um, expanding the um, vision because I'm so looking forward to see how my adventure, recent adventure will lead to another. Great job.